Hey guys, Scott here again with the DTF Off Volunteer Firefighter Podcast. Uh, we're going to show you guys what a re-rack looks like on our forestry line. So a re-rack is done on a, on a bump and run. If we need to redeploy right away, we're not going to be up in the hose bed reloading everything. We're going to quickly uh, rack it. Over here, we have a uh, just a, a, like a Ferno strap from a old basket stretcher. And it's going to be our, our uh, strap to, to, to hang the hose off of. In the end, it'll kind of look like a Mad Max truck, but that's kind of what we're going for because we want to be fast and quick. Okay, so um, as I'm doing this, Ash is going to talk us through it. So what he's going to do here is just kind of zigzag the hose back, back and forth, making a bit of an accordion look to the hose lay here. Uh, we've got the hose still hooked up to the fire truck. We did crack the nozzle. The, the purpose of not draining the line is once we're out in a forestry environment, we don't have a ton of secure water. So we don't want to drain everything out. I know it's not going to be a lot left in the hose, but any little bit left helps. Uh, it's just doing that water uh, conservation, which down the road can add up. If we're doing this three, four, five times, can add up to a pretty decent amount of water for a quick attack. Once he gets the nozzle back back to the truck, he's going to uh, cap it off there. He's going to lift, lift the uh, hose up here. I'm going to come in and help him. This is where the second hand comes in. So we come over the top with the other side of the buckle. And we're in, and he's just going to let it dangle. Get out of there. <laughs> Once his hand gets out of there, we're set. So it looks, you know, pretty, pretty messy. But once we get to the next location, which is 50 feet, two or three kilometers, wherever we have to move to, a simple unbuckle, drops back down. He grabs the hose again, and this is going to flake out perfectly for a second time. And we're back ready to fight another fire, another 100 feet away from the uh, fire engine. So that's a quick rundown of our uh, bump and run setup for summertime. Um, we've had pretty uh, decent weather up until this point, but we expect it to turn pretty quick. So we'll uh, be using this technique lots in the future.